how much longer can this Doge pump go on for? And are we literally going to see Doge go to $1? In today's video, I want to investigate the real possibilities of Doge going to $1 and investigate the threats that are becoming quite apparent in today's video. Hey guys, my name is Jason Pizzino, and if you're just tuning in for the first time, thank you very much. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and bell notification icon so you can catch this time-sensitive content as it's released. If you're coming back or a returning subscriber, be sure to hit that like button down below. And of course, the new guys as well, hit that. It goes a very long way to helping out the channel in the YouTube algorithm. Just a few short months ago, Doge was trading for 0.2 of a cent. I had no idea Doge would get to 50 cents. I thought it had the potential for six, seven, eight cents at a max, but seriously, 49 cents per Doge is absolutely wild. Let's get stuck into some of the reasons why we're here and what are the possible threats of us not reaching that dollar in this pump. I'm gonna bring you into a few of the tricks of the trade. Now, if you're into media marketing, you'll understand that when things are trending, it's a good idea to make a video on them. That's what we're doing today. And this is no different to many other channels out there. As the market is pumping, you wanna talk about the stuff that people wanna see because then, then that brings more attention to the videos that have a lot of real solid content in them, stuff that people can really, really learn from. Something like this, this is like a news trending topic. And of course, I wanna try and fill you in on some real deep information within it. So that's why we're talking about Doge today. However, this is the digital marketing side of online, whatever it is that we do on here, influencing, you must, some might call it. So Dogecoin was pumping literally just a few months ago, hit that 10 cents, never made it to that dollar, but we fell back to the, the 5 cent level and started to consolidate. Now we also continue to talk about Dogecoin because it is still pumping, it was still going on. So more people are starting to see Dogecoin. So, is, this, is there potential for Doge to go to a dollar? Moving across, you can see that many other channels are also talking about Doge. Our good friends at Digital Asset News, I'm not associated with uh, Rob over there, but I do enjoy his channel. He's also talking about Dogecoin. Journey Crypto, obviously talking about Dogecoin. This guy is a media marketing genius. Going across to Twitter, Slim Jim, Doge Day 420, talking about Dogecoin. So now we're beginning to get uh, doge across multiple different areas of the world like why would this sort of company talk about doge it's very interesting to see doge spreading its wings and crossing different markets coindesk also talks about doge here in terms of the media mania that slim jim has found just by talking about doge so savvy uh, media savvy snack foods put doge in his advertising and then found more followers just from doing that across to other youtube channels these channels are just coming about i'm just finding random dogecoin channels which are just talking about doge very similar to tesla and that we have channels which literally just talk about tesla and this is the stuff that is really pumping in the search engine so this is a big reason why i think doge can get to a dollar whether it's going to happen in this current pump leading up to the 420 doge day pump it to a dollar etc yet to see and we're going to look at that in the chart in just a moment we've got a few other pieces to go through here the dogecoin rich list so these are some of the threats i want to have a look at in terms of the potential of it not reaching a dollar but we can see from these transfers we can keep an eye on it to see whether we're going to get a big outflow of the big wallet holders of Doge to see whether they are dumping on the market. So far, we can see here we've got one week and one month. What This is what these numbers here mean, whether they're getting an increase or a decrease of Doge over that period. So far, these are the biggest wallets and they are still holding more Doge. So just over the last month, the largest wallet address has uh, sent 100 million Doge out of their wallet. Now that doesn't mean that they have sold, but it just means that they have moved 100 million. Whereas the rest of these wallets are still holding more Doge and they are moving. And just looking further down on the list, some of them are beginning to, to move some of their Doge out. So keep an eye on this one as well, bitinfocharts.com. So this is gonna help us see if we're about to get absolutely annihilated with the doge price if we start to see big numbers move out of these wallets we don't know who owns these wallets they could 
just be exchange wallets and they're not about to dump on us. This could be an exchange wallet. I have no idea, but it does hold 28% of the total Doge coin supply. If it happens to be an exchange, then maybe this is made up of multiple other uh, owners of Doge. But it's a good one to keep an eye on just to see whether these are moving coins. Maybe they're moving coins back into the exchange to be sold. We just don't know. But at least it's there and we can see. Dogecoin has made over 2,000 millionaires. So addresses richer than, here we go, 1 million USD, 10 million USD. So we've got 1,900 plus 300, call it 2,200, 2,200 millionaires in Doge. Now, it could probably be pretty close to some millionaires here as well, but overall, 2,200 millionaires, not a bad thing. Looking across at Reddit, so these are some of the reasons that Doge may not make it to that dollar in this pump. And that is simply boiled down to the dilution effect. When we get crazy pumps, yes, people rush into the market, start buying tops, and then hoping that it goes higher. Then we also have other projects which come about to try and capitalize on the hysteria, euphoria, whatever you want to call it. So right here, we've got Moonshot Monday, 100x coin, a meme coin with a fully doxxed, transparent owner, three influencers are set to promote it tomorrow, etc. So you know, we talked about earlier in the video that people all talk about Dogecoin at the same time. I don't have a, an affiliate with any of these guys here. Uh, and, you know, maybe it would be great if I did, but at the moment, I don't have any of them. I'm not influencing anything apart from talking about Doge here and frankly, Doge is said $50 billion market cap. I honestly don't think I can influence a $50 billion market cap. So looking at these three influencers set to promote some other 100x coin, you can just go down this Reddit here, Satoshi Street Bets, which is the offshoot of Wall Street Bets. And basically it is just a whole lot of pumping and dumping for these coins, even though in the rules it says not to do that. But you can just see from the titles here, seven hours ago, three hours ago, uh, Monday Moonshot, Doge, BS, C, legitimate community, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and the list goes on. Moon Boys, it's crazy. Elon Gate Coin. So the dilution effect. What I'm talking about here is that now that you've got a whole ton of money, people have made some money from Doge. Literally, just a meme. Doesn't do anything else. A highly inflationary cryptocurrency that pumps out about five billion extra Doge per year on top of the current 129 billion Doge supply. Once you made some money, like we saw with all of these wallet holders, what are you going to do with it? You see Doge at 47 cents or 42 cents currently. There's a potential of it to go to a dollar. You're only going to get 100%. Why not throw a thousand or 5,000 bucks into one of these other moon coins that have the potential of doing 100x because their market cap is a hell of a lot lower. Maybe their market cap is 10 million or 100 million and they just want to get the project to a billion. From your 10 million to a billion, there's 100x and it has the potential, especially with the spotlight on a meme coin like Doge, shifting some of that money across, getting the influencers in, pumping the coin up. Now they're getting their 100x. Maybe they only take 20x, but it's probably more likely them getting a 20x than it is getting a 20x out of Dogecoin at the moment. This is a, a real threat to Doge not making it to a dollar at the moment. And essentially, I just see it as dilution across other scam meme coins. Now, I'm not saying Doge is a scam. I definitely enjoy Doge. I think it's a fantastic joke around the cryptocurrency space, but there is this potential of uh, dilution to other projects and people just not seeing the returns in Doge at some point. Now, again, looking across to other influencers, you got, uh, these are porn stars, Angela White and Aussie, popped these tweets up a uh, very long time ago, holding her Doge as well. So once this sort of hits the spotlight, uh, you can see a lot of major influencers really getting behind the Doge scene. But Angela White has been a Dogecoin supporter for a very long time. So she is one of the OGs of the Doge scene. I'm just gonna bring up here, Jackson Palmer is one of the uh, founders of Dogecoin, but has since wiped himself off the face of cryptocurrency. He used to have a great YouTube channel, got rid of that. Twitter is gone and this looks like it's just Twitter holding his account so that people can't use it as a scam account across Twitter. Literally nothing from the the co or the yeah the co-founder of Dogecoin. So there's not really anything being done on Doge. It's it's a meme and it's fun. And as I talk about fun, more people just tweeting about Doge, Doge Army, Doge Coin, Doge to the Moon. This is the this is what has pushed us from that five cents after the peak 
to that consolidation to currently that 50 cents, just everyone getting behind it. And essentially, this is the market sentiment. As we begin to climb up the rankings and more people see it, the whole idea is once everyone is into the market, then there is no more room left to moon. So the gamble that we are taking here is, is everyone into the, Do the Doge market currently or do we still have another $50 billion worth to come into the market to pump Doge to a dollar? Obviously, we need about 130 billion because there's about 130 billion tokens there. Market cap is around 50 billion. That's the whole idea. Do you believe that we have double the amount of money to come in in order to pump it to a dollar? Currently, I'm not sure whether we'll get there on this pump but I think we will shoot a little touch higher. Let's have a look at the charts in just a moment. Now, in order to keep pushing the coin up, we need to get more big names under the belts of Dogecoin. Mark Cuban, even a hater of Bitcoin, said he would rather own a banana than Bitcoin, has come on board. Obviously, we know Mark Cuban now is promoting Bitcoin and Ethereum and, of course, Dogecoin accepting it for Mavs tickets. Uh, so as we begin to get more of these guys, it is possible we could get to the dollar. Whether we get this in time while the market sentiment is hot is the question that we need to answer in order to get to that dollar. I happen to think that maybe we won't get there this time, but I think we may get there the next time. We just need to bring in more people, more big names to start talking about it. And they're just basically playing with the market themselves. There's no rules to say that big names can't pump and dump cryptocurrencies. So this is something to be aware of. It's a real threat to people buying in at these highs in order to try and get uh, and another 10x or 20x from the coin. Coin market cap, just to recap, is uh, Dogecoin sitting at nearly 50 billion US dollars, just ahead of Tether, Cardano, and Polkadot. Currently, we've seen 434% in seven days, and in the last 24 hours, we have shot up again to 20, uh, shot up 22% to sit at 38 cents. So we're just cooling off from around a 41 or 42 cent high. Let's just look at these last couple of things. Uh, before I move on to the chart, and this is part of the dilution. Projects like random crap like this, Snoge, are all trying to take a piece of the pie. So if these get big enough, then yes, you're going to see some of that market cap getting diluted out to these sorts of projects. So I just bring this up here to note that it is potential that some of the spotlight may turn to Litecoin. We're we have seen Litecoin break out of a downwards uh, wedge, which basically means it has a bullish pattern to it. Let's have a look at the chart of Dogecoin. Now checking out the charts to see what the potential is here. And Dogecoin has just about double topped with its previous top set on the 16th of April at 45 cents. Currently the top is at 44 cents and we've just seen some of the lows taken out, which could mean we are washing out the lows before we push to this new high. We did bounce off our major 50% Fib, which is a good bullish pattern. We haven't broken above the highs yet. So that's what we're waiting for, 38 cents currently. What I look at for here is the replication of a similar pattern that we saw back in February, which stopped the market. So this is where Dogecoin pushed to nearly 10 cents. This is at 9 cents back on the 29th of January, 8.8 .8 cents, and then again, 8.8 .8 cents on the 8th of February. And you can see that we had this similar sort of pattern, like a cup leading up into the high, a handle forming, and this is usually a bullish pattern for it to shoot off to the moon from here. However, it did not. Litecoin, uh, Dogecoin happened to fall away and came back to rest at around 50 or oh, 5 cents, which was or is the 50% level. So this is why I'm bringing up the 50% level again, because it is a good testing and resting spot. So Dogecoin top, you can see that it came back here and sat on the 50%, which was just at around that 5 cent level, accumulated again, and then took off. Now this is getting a little bit messy over here, but we do have, you can see this FIB, this FIB level here, the 50% level is at around our 25 cent level. So we have bounced off that. Now that would be my trigger for this is over. If we would happen to break through that low there, come back and test these levels at around 12 to 14 cents. But for now we are up, we're consolidating. Hopefully we get a breakout to that dollar region. And the dollar region is, sitting very comfortably well above the market. I happen to think that we may get to that 90 cent level and people may just keep holding on and you've got the big money, the smarter money, just dumping on the market. So I'm gonna keep track of all of those different opportunities because 
Nothing is saying, nothing is set in stone to say that this has to go to a dollar. It's just a nice round number that everyone is hoping for. So just play it safe. Take profits if you so wish to. Just don't be a fool and then end up in some sort of loss because you won't have any more ammo to hit back at the market if we get a lower price on Dogecoin. So I think there is a potential. The, the key here, as I wrap up, is for the market to obviously break through these resistance levels of around 44 to 45 cents. If you can get a consolidation and go, fantastic. If it just goes, also great. These little blue arrows are my swing levels, so they are the levels which are the strongest at this point. So if they start to break down, then this is looking a little weaker. And of course, if we break through the 50% level, which is at around 25 cents, then I would say the show is probably over unless it gets a swift reversal and holds above that 50% again, just like it did back in February. So that's what it did there. Burst down, swift move back above, consolidated, and then went again. So there my scenarios as to how this could end up at a dollar, the possibilities of the threat of it not ending up at a dollar, and why I think that is the case. I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. More Dogecoin, more Cardano, more cryptocurrency and personal investing on the channel. You can see that with all of the videos. Click through to the videos that are at the end of this video here, looking at what to do with $1,000, 1000 to 100000 all those sorts of good things there at the end of this video here. Subscribe to the newsletter. Free newsletter comes out once a fortnight so you guys can get more information about cryptocurrency and investing overall to build your portfolios. Subscribe, like the video up, share the content with someone that you think needs to see this. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.